Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Computers. I am your host, Patrick Edgington, and today we are up here in New England, and we're going to be looking at how stuffed clams, New England clam chowder, steamed Maine lobster, Austin baked beans, and apple pie can combine to make your computer blazing fast. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to start with our appetizer. We would like to make stuffed clams today, and we're going to do that. First thing we're going to do is get everything we need out of the fridge. We're going to get everything in one place, and then we're going to prepare. Make sure everything's ready to go before we put it on the stove. We're going to cook those clams and stuff in for about 20 minutes in the frying pan. After that, we'll take our clams and our stuffing, and we're going to stick them back in their shells. Then. Then we are going to make those stuffed clams for about 20 minutes in the oven. Once they're done, ooh boy, we are going to plate those up. We are sending them out to our guests. They will love those. <clears throat> now we can start on our New England clam chowder. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to get everything out of that fridge. Everything we need for our New England clam chowder. Then we are going to prepare it. We are going to have to do things like chop up our bacon and our onions and our potatoes. Once they're good, they're ready to go. Then we can toss the clams into a bath for about 10 minutes. Give them a chance to relax. Calm down. Open up. They will love you. Your guests will love you. After your clams have had their bath, we are going to swap them out for the bacon, the onions, potatoes, let them cook. Take about 20 minutes total. And then we're going to toss everything back into the pot and let it cook for another three minutes. We won't need to use the oven this time, so we can just go on and start plating things up. Next, we are moving on to that main lobster. So, first thing I need to do is get my lobster. Mmm, this boy looks delicious. Next thing I need to do is make sure he's ready to go. I'm gonna need a pot, I'm gonna need to put some water in it, make sure everything's ready for him. Ooh, I know what you're thinking. Padre, why don't you start working on that lobster while the clam chowder's cooking? Don't need much attention, right? No, 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 no. We are not gonna do that. I mean, just think about it. What happens if I'm busy tickling my lobster and my clam chowder buns? We do not want bun chowder. That is definitely not good. So we will finish our clam chowder before we start on our lobster. We want to be able to pay full attention to that chowder and the lobster. None of this both at once. Just one thing at a time. That is how we do things. Once our lobster is good and ready, we just about tickled him to death. Then we are going to toss him on the pot, on the stove. It's going to cook for about 20 minutes. We're not going to need to toss him in the oven. We can just get straight to plating him up. Mmm. This boy is going to be delicious. Our guests are going to love him too. Next up. We've got those baked beans. So we're going to get everything out of our fridge. Then we're going to get everything ready to go. Then we're going to simmer those beans on the stove for just a little bit. Then they are going in the oven. They will bake nice and slow. When they come out, we'll let them rest for a bit. Then put them on the plate and they can go out for our guests. Mm -hmm. Last leg. We have the apple pie. So our apple pie, we're going to start out. We're going to get everything we need. And then, then we are going to go to town on those apples. We've got a lot of apples to go through, a lot of chopping. We're not going to need the stove this time, though. Instead, our apple pie is going to go straight into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, then onto the plate and out to our guests. It'll work. It'll work. Oh, 
okay, okay. So you'd really like me to do more than one thing at once. Well, I can only be in one place at a time, but fortunately, I got a lot of guests coming over. So I'm going to enlist some of my guests to help me out. I'm going to ask Alice, Bob, Carol, and Dan to come over here and help out with this. I'm still going to get started with those appetizers, because those need to go out first. Can't be sending out our apple pie before our appetizers. No sorry. So I'm going to get started. I'll get everything I need for the stuffed clams out of the fridge, and then I'm going to hand those off. I'm going to let Alice get those prepared. Now that the fridge is available, I'll get started on the clam chowder. I'm just going to be pulling things out of the fridge for now. Alice is busy preparing everything for the stuffed clams. There's not much room for the chowder there. But once that's done, Alice is going to hand the clams off to Bob at the stove. He's going to be cooking the clams up on the stove. Now Alice can start preparing the clam chowder. She can get everything she needs prepared for the clam chowder. At the same time, I'm going to get started on those lobsters. Ooh, he does look good. Once we got that done, we're going to move on to our next stage. Carol's going to toss the stuffed clams into the oven. Bob will start cooking the clam chowder on the stove. Alice is going to be getting that lobster tickled. And now, I'm going to start getting things ready for the baked beans. Stuffed clams are ready to go now. Dan's going to plate them up, and then they can go off for our guests. Now, the chowder doesn't really need the oven, but Dan's already busy plating stuff, so he can't deal with that just yet. There's no room there. We're going to have to wait until Dan's done plating the clams. Then he can put the clam chowder in the bowls and take it out. But not yet. On the other hand, Bob is busy steaming those lobsters. Mm. Alice is preparing the baked beans, and I'm busy picking up everything we need for that apple pie. Now, we have everything going at once. But now we're done with the fridge. I can go out with the guests and enjoy the food. Now that I'm out of the way, Dan can get started putting that clam chowder into bowls. I'll be looking forward to that shortly. The lobsters don't really need to use the oven, but chowder's in the way. Can't stick those lovely lobsters onto a plate just yet. Have to wait just a little bit longer. Let them rest, cool down, relax. Bob's busy simmering the beans for a bit. At the same time, Alice. Alice is having fun with those apples. Got a lot of work to do there, and she's going hard at it. Now we can plate up those lobsters. Alice and I are out enjoying the clam chowder, the stuffed clams. We'll be expecting Bob very shortly. Beans are now in getting baked, and the apple pie is waiting for the oven to be available. Now, Alice, Bob, and I are out there enjoying the vittles. Dan is plating up those baked beans, and the pie is in the oven. Lastly, we're going to plate up that pie, and we'll all have dessert together. So now, you can see I got everything done way faster. Before, I had lots and lots and lots of stuff. Now I can fit it all on one screen. Everything got done more than twice as fast. And I had five things being done at the same time. But each of them were doing something different. I was able to make sure that Bob was watching that clam chowder while Alice was off tickling the lobsters. We do not want burned chowder. We may not be tickling our lobsters to death, but we do not want burned chowder in the process. So I can kind of think of this like a pipeline, where each of my dishes come in on the left-hand side and they're going to move to the right. So my stuffed clams were the first thing in, and there are the first thing out. My apple pie was the last thing in. It is going to be the last thing coming out. I'm going to make sure that everything comes in in the right order and it goes out in the right order. Our appetizer needs to go out first and our dessert should go out last. We cannot have our dessert going out first, no siree. So, how does this help your computer? Well, we are going to take dishes and substitute computer instructions for those stuffed clams, New England clam chowder, steamed Maine lobster, Boston baked beans, and apple pie. And then we're going to substitute hardware for our cooking, like instruction fetch, instruction decode, ALU execution, memory access, and register write back. 
Now, since Alice, Bob, Carol, Dan, and myself aren't going to be there, we can't be standing there watching over your CPU all the time. We're going to add some registers between those stages. So just take the stuff from one stage and hand it to the next. Then they'll let the hardware get on with its business of computing for you. That'll be enough to make sure each piece of hardware is running the right instruction. And that is how you make your computer blaze and fast. I will see you again next time on Cooking with Computers.